just completed a genuine bebop influence tango trombone solo but that's not all he can do because well how shall I say this he's so far out ladies and gentlemen he's been to college and everything and because of this he is an expert in the graceful art of bebop tango dancing 
Now he has developed a special dance routine which he will perform for you with the assistance of Napoleon. They're going to work this out. Easy Bruce, easy big fella. Okay. This is a special bebop dance that they've planned just for you. Give them your undivided attention. Take it away. Well, it certainly sounds like bebop, you know. Don't let them stop you, George. Keep telling them about the bebop. That's right, huh? George. George. We. You, do you understand that you're in Canada now? You, you realize that, don't you? You realize that if you continue to sing bebop in that manner to a Canadian audience, that you might not get any pussy tonight? Do you realize that it is within the realm of possibility that bebop itself as a concept is too evolved for the Canadian audience? Because from where I stand, I see that this audience is extremely reserved. I know that you must be under a great deal of pressure in an institution of higher learning. We've, we've experimented with bebop in such advanced places as Patterson, New Jersey, Detroit, Michigan, Waterbury, Connecticut, and now at last, the bebop tango has come to Waterloo, wherever it is. Just to give you a brief idea of what took place at these other areas, we selected a likely suspect from the audience, somebody who appeared to be evolved to the point where they could actually take part in our bebop tango contest. And uh, what we did is we had the spotlight man rove it through the audience and uh, just pull it across these people and see if there's anybody who appears to be ready, willing, and able to participate in the bebop dance. I mean, I hate to ask for volunteers, but is that a volunteer or is that a volunteer? Hey, you are a volunteer. How about a succulent young lady to assist him in the bebop tango routine? Is there one woman among you who has evolved enough to dance with? Hey, a second volunteer. Hey, 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 hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be real quiet. I want to find out what their names are. What is your name, sir? All I can hear three things. I hear Don, it's either Marginal, Marshmallow, or Marcanum. What is it? Marginal? Hey. No, no, he's got to do it right there where you can really see him and experience his aura. And young lady, what is your name? Linda? Doming? Norman? Dormer? Oh. <laughs> what can I say? Oh wait, wait, no, you don't you don't do it sitting down. You have to do that's it. Have a little beer, honey. Okay. <laughs> Linda and Don, was that it? <laughs> Don John. John. <laughs> It's John and Linda, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now here's here's the deal, John and or Linda. <laughs> or in tandem, or any combinations thereof which appeal to your fancy. Now, 
George is going to sing a genuine bebop vocal lick. And all you have to do is move your body systematically to the rhythm that he will project to you. You communicate. You link your mind with his mind. You link your body with his notes. The rhythmic figures will overcome you. You are going to sleep. You are going to sleep. Okay. Now here's a quick sample. George is going to give you a little number like this. I'll show you how to dance to it. You ready? Try it one time. Get the picture? It's a sort of a spastic, sort of a weird, sort of a twisted, sort of a perverted, sort of obsessed, sort of twitching, sort of bebop, sort of tango dance that you can do. Everybody, get the picture. Here we go. George, make them dance. Oh, no, you're too reserved. You're too reserved. You have to let yourself go. Do you understand? Where are they? Follow me one time. Make me dance, George. Now, just... I don't know how to get this across to you, but you have to loosen yourself up. You have to let yourself go. Just forget you're in Canada just for a moment. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's start them off easy with a little groove. Okay. Now... Come on, Twitch. No, no, look, here, here's where you're making your mistake. You're trying to stay on the beat like this. Don't listen to that beat over there. Listen to the one that goes... And dance to that one. Anybody can go like that, okay? Show these people where you're coming from. I still think you're too reserved. You think that, um, is it possible that you could all stand up for a minute and just twitch around to this? It couldn't hurt you. Okay. All right, sweep the audience with the spotlights. Make it look like there's something really going on in this gymnasium. This is the world's championship. Bebop Twitchathon. And I want to see every single one of you highly evolved Canadians out there twitching your brains out. Give it to him, George. But you're just standing there. Are you tired? Oh, well. Sit down. It's okay. Just sit down and calm yourselves, really. No, no. Really. It's okay. Really. It's all right. Just, it's all right. Really. I mean, sit down. I mean, I mean, please, ladies and gentlemen, please just sit down. You'll be able to see better, and they'll be able to see better. Just sit down. I'll tell you, there is no way in the world that you people are going to be able to dance to bebop. It's just too hard for you. I never thought we'd meet with failure in Canada, but I guess this is it, folks. Your vibes and your aura have projected themselves into a realm of complete relaxation. That person with his arm up in the air, that person up there in the top knows what I'm talking about. That person up there at the top. Give that man a chance to bebop one more time. That guy. Twitch it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now don't fall down. Just sit back. This was not meant to injure anyone, okay. Now, the next step in our bebop educational process, we want to expose you to the potential delights of the marimba as an instrument of bebop expression when applied to the tango as imported to Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Underwood will now play the delicate, sensitive, bebop teardrop marimba solo. Take it away, Ruth. Make them weep.
of events must eventually resolve itself to that basic driving force, which is at the very core of bebop itself. And you know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, the rhythm section. What rhythm section would be complete without a bebop bass solo? Take it away, Tom. Give it a little bebop. <laughs> Licks tend to sound the same after a while, but there's one thing that will endure, and that is the bebop, highly evolved drum solo competition between Ralph Humphrey, who is contestant number one, and Chester Thompson, who is contestant number two, and eventually, even including Ruth Underwood, who will be contestant number three. And judged by you, who will or will not be the audience, as the case may be. Take it away, Ralph. Hit it. number there is a percussion event they can all play together ladies and gentlemen tap your toes to the lilting strains of Tamershi Duin what do you mean wait a minute <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Ruth is going to miss 25 percent of her cues tonight keep your eye on Ruth the red zircon is significant are you ready oh she's not ready ladies and gentlemen just vamp until she comes in <laughs> and take it away Bruce Fowler will miss five percent of his cues tonight, ladies and gentlemen.
I am gross and perverted. I'm obsessed and deranged. I have existed for years, but very little I have changed. I'm the tool of the government and industry too, for I am destined to rule and regulate you. I may be vile and pernicious, but you can't look away. I'll make you think I'm delicious with the stuff that I say. I am the best you can get. Have you just me? Yes. I am the slime oozing out from your TV set. You will obey me while I leave you and eat the garbage that I feed you until the day that we don't feed you. Don't go for hell, no one will eat you. Your mind is totally controlled. It has been stuffed into my mold. And you will do as you are told until the right that you are sold. That's right, folks, don't touch that dial. I am the star from the video.
you. All right, we're now going to play a collection of three songs for you. The first, the first and the last one are new, and the middle one is old. The first one is called Pygmy Twilight. The second one is called The Idiot Bastard Son. And the third one is called A Little More Cheapness, Please. Testing one.
fathers a Nazi in Congress today. The mother's a hooker somewhere in L.A. in this area, Paul Funobulax, has just been seen approaching the power plant. Bullets can't stop it. Rockets can't stop it. Grenades can't stop it. We may have to use nuclear force. Everyone is advised to go to the gymnasium at once. Please. <laughs> 
Montana now, and then at the, the end of Montana it goes into a song that you probably haven't heard before. It's the legend of Dupree's Paradise. Good. You could. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on Ruth because she's just not ready. <laughs> Oh, 
talk about this day that's riding all along the borderline with a the wrangler would say I was hiding there but by myself I would have no boss to ride to the
much of this for free. Thank you.
Thank you. 